Yo, what's cracking YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the Overflood Tyrant. Uh, currently, it's not released in GTA Online, but I believe it is going to be released on Tuesday, the 1st of May. And uh, I'm currently recording this on the 30th of April. So hopefully I'm right and hopefully it's going to be released on Tuesday, the 1st of May. Um, but that's not a guarantee. I don't genuinely know. This is um, just from speculation. But hopefully, this is going to be the next car which is released. But like I said, currently unreleased whilst recording this video. But anyway, guys, as we come out of first person, we can see that this tyrant is that's pretty good looking. Actually, I don't mind the look of it. Uh, obviously, it is another supercar, uh, which is you know meh meh. <laughs> you know, that's, that's how I feel about supercars at the moment in GTA. It's, I just don't get excited by them anymore. Um, but this one, it looks okay. You know, it's it's not too bad. Um, and because it is currently unreleased, I I can't put a price on it either. But I think it's going to be you know in the in the in the millions. It's going to be a couple of million at least for this vehicle. Um, but yeah, like I said, on the outside, the, it looks okay. Nothing spectacular. Nothing out of the ordinary that we see with all the other supercars in GTA. But you know, it is a brand new supercar. It is coming to online. So, without any further ado, let's get into this LS Customs and see what sort of customizations we can do. So as we pull into LS Customs, guys, you will see the Tyrant is, like I've already said, in the supercar category. And as always, we're gonna start this build with 100% body armor. Then we're gonna go to the brakes. We're gonna get the race brakes for the engine. We're gonna get the level four engine upgrade. And as you can see, we don't have any bumper options, which is disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Because like I said, this car is gonna be very expensive and uh, by the looks of it we don't have much in the way of customization so next we are going to go to the exhaust and we only have two additional options and those two additional options don't look that great if i just hold down the accelerator i apologize for the high revs but it's just so we can get rid of that smoke you can see that both of these exhausts aren't the best looking i think the stock one actually looks the best <laughs> so i'm going to stay stock for that exhaust then we're going to go to the hood we only get one additional option and it's exactly the same as the stock but a carbon version of it and uh, again that doesn't look that great i'm not a massive fan of carbon paneling on vehicles um, any type of vehicle that is so in that case i'm going to stay stock once again then i'm going to go to the lights headlights and purchase the xeon headlights then for the respray we're going to go primary color go go metallic i'm feeling like I don't know, maybe an orange for this because we've got orange piping on the on the seats there. So I'm going to quickly flick down to the orange. So when I was on my way down to orange, I came across this lava red. And I actually forgot how much more orange it is than the actual color orange, strangely enough. Uh, obviously, it is a lava red with a with more of an orange pearlescent, but that looks fucking sweet. So we're going to go with that for the primary color and secondary color. We're also going to go metallic. And I'm assuming, I was assuming it was going to change the roof color, but it doesn't. What does this change? What is this? Oh, okay. So it's changing the piping on the inside of the uh, car. Which is weird. Really weird. You'd have thought that... I don't know. You would have thought <laughs> there would have been a different option. And then we'd have sort of like a trim uh, color that would change. But no, secondary color changes the, uh, the interior. Fucking weird as hell. Rockstar logic on that one. Anyway, we're going to go to the skirts next. Only two additional options for the skirt. And both of them aren't great at all. But I think the carbon street skirt actually probably looks better than the stock skirt. Because it makes it a little bit lower. And it matches this front bumper a little bit nicer as well. So we are going to go with the carbon street skirt. Then we've got the spoiler. Only three additional options, man. This is terrible for customization. Really bad. And... Uh, all these options aren't that great and this sort of spoiler makes a comeback from was it like the oh is it the knee neon ne, neo ne, the uh, the bugatti Chiron, which is in the game can't think what it's called anyway i think that you know that was this is the last time we saw this type of spoiler and also we see it on the zentorno as well so that kind of makes a comeback and it's probably the best looking one as well because all these other ones are just attached to these weird fucking extended fins on the back of the car and this spoiler probably makes them fins look a little bit more natural all these look like 
like they're not supposed to be there basically and they all look a bit weird so i'm going to go with a competition spoiler then we're going to go to the suspension we're going to get the sport suspension transmission we're going to get a race transmission and the turbo tuning for the wheels the wheels on this is stock look okay they're not nothing spectacular because i'm pretty sure if we go into high end we'll see that we've got a carbon variation of these is it the carbonic z they do look very similar to them and they are yeah they're exactly the same uh, in carbonic z and they actually look a lot nicer in carbon so we are going to go with the carbonic z for the rims yeah. and for the wheel color this is just going to change the trim around the outside of the wheel as you can see it's changing now uh probably going to go with a red i think the blaze red is probably the best one to go with because it's the, mo the most orangey red that we've got so yeah we're gonna go with blaze red for the wheel color whilst we're here we are going to tires tire enhancements and purchase the bulletproof tires and to finish off the build as always we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint so you go my dudes there is my build on the brand new currently on release whilst recording this video tyrant and you know i think it actually looks okay uh, like i said i'm not overly crazy about supercars in this game at this point in my gta career because i've been playing it since day one and just the abundance of supercars that we now have in the game is uh, getting a bit ridiculous and they all kind of starting to look the same um so you know I, I find it hard to get excited about new supercars now um but it is what it is it is a new supercar it actually looks okay um that wing on the back actually looks quite nice as well like i said it does make them weird fins look like a little bit more natural like they are actually supposed to be there and the color of this car is amazing i love this lava red i forgot how nice it is so overall the look of the car it looks really nice we'll just take it for a little spin and uh see well not see exactly how it performs but get a rough idea of how it's going to perform and uh straight off the bat this sounds amazing this car sounds really really nice as you can see there I've got my custom Sentinel wide body Sentinel out in the wild and I will be doing a future video on that so if you'd like to see that make sure you let me know in the comments below and I will be doing a full review on this wide body Sentinel but anyway back to the Tyrant like I said this car sounds amazing it actually looks okay and it's really quite fast we're at 90 miles per hour already this is fucking quite good so if we can get a good enough straight we might be able to actually push it to the limit a little bit maybe well, it's going to reach 120 with ease. The acceleration actually feels quite quick, um, which is obviously good in a supercar. You want it to be quick off the line. Ooh, squeeze through these gaps. So now I'm going to try and look at this speedo whilst speeding through the streets of LS and <laughs> trying not to crash at the same time. But yeah, the acceleration actually feels really good. Let's take it around this bend, see how it handles a corner. It actually feels all right, man. It feels like it's sticky. It's going to stick to the, uh, the road. And uh, so the traction is pretty good the acceleration like i said is pretty good Let's squeeze through that gap get out of my fucking way oh there we go <laughs> so like i said the traction feels good the acceleration feels really good and the top end of it actually feels really nice as well so i think it's going to be a pretty competent supercar um whether it's going to rival the top spot is yet to be seen obviously we'll have to wait for an official video from bruffy to see on how it fares what the fuck is he doing I think this guy's on drugs. What the hell is he doing? But anyway, like I was saying, we are have to go. We are gonna have to wait for an official video release from Buffy to see on how this performs uh, around a track, uh, because obviously he's the go-to guy for that sort of thing. And um, yeah, but like I said, overall it is actually pretty good. I don't know whether it's gonna be worth the money because I'm not 100% sure on how much is, how much it is. But if you want a new supercar, why the hell not? It is nice looking got good acceleration the traction feels really solid which is good and um top speed ain't too bad either but anyway guys that is now going to be the end of the video hope you guys did enjoy if you did please leave a like and if you haven't already want to subscribe to my youtube channel for more gta 5 content and until next time guys i'm out adios